So it's the is default it? one or is this the updated one? Because we used to have map flies before that as well. Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. If there's Edmund one, love Edmund. Their stuff, amazing. Yeah, they d it, it definitely is. They helped me with the meme invitation. The other oh, did they? Yeah. What they, did uh, what did they, they help you with? They uh, allowed me to use their very cool opening artwork of a mock show, but I won't go into too much detail. All right. <laughs> but know that they're very, very talented. Okay. Back to this. Back to the game. Is this going to be the Thatcher ban? Are we going to get? Are we going to get approach? a Thatcher ban again? Give me a th give me a Thatcher ban for the hard approach. Twitch. Okay. Okay. So, as, as I said as well, an operator that we see more and more play off and actually starts to get removed a little bit here and there. Remember, to be removed is, uh, is, I mean, I guess not as impactful if there is no Cade and there is no Thatcher, uh, and there is a Thatcher on the board. I don't, I don't think you really need the Maverick in that case. Do you know what I think they sort of expected? The now ban I see the camera. Of the Thatcher. There you go. <laughs> uh, they sort of expected the ban of the Thatcher there, I believe. And Eminem, to be fair, why not take it out of the hands of P4? Like, yeah. why not take an operator that they're very good at and make this a little bit of a different approach here? Because they're happy on club. And they know that they're happy with those players. And it's uh, something that I've cited before. I think it was Kayak with the original quote where he says that the toughest approach, it might not be Kayak, but it was definitely a UK player. They said the toughest approach on club is when Maverick and Thatcher are banned. It, it is. He said it a little bit of time ago. So there's been a bit of a change of, you know, like yeah. think a new operator or two new operators have been put in. But still, I think it still sort of stands because that's the truest limitation of a map that does play to a lot of hard destruction. I was going to say, especially on a map like Clubhouse, where exactly. Harp Breach the is key. They're, they're yeah. If you do not have a Harp Breach, it's almost impossible to win here. Um, something that intrigues me, though, is uh, the lineup we see on Vitality. We see an Echo. We see a Valkyrie, which would indicate a lot of heavy information play, but you will also see the Oryx to come out on the side of Shinka. And Oryx is that highly mobile operator, can jump up these hatches, so expect every single hatch in this side, in, in, in the map, to be opened up. So he has the opportunity to jump up them, so he can use these cameras to dance around the map and potentially go for a giant flank. It's like if you swapped out the bandit for like an Aruni, it's like a coastline lineup. It, it would be. It's something that really gives you the impression of aggression. It's something that really gives you the impression of trying to keep everything a bit spicy. They have the intel, they have all the need and the reach that they want, and we know that Echo can be huge on this site. If you're new to it, yes, yes, everybody, this is a site that has some versatility and utility. Listen, I've been, I've been advocating. Yeah. This for my entire life. Um, they changed it a little bit. A little bit of work done. But uh, this is my life's work right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that you taking credit? For the site being played yeah, now? Yeah, yes, yeah. totally. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you have that because you did ask for it a lot. And here it's true. It was club and club got a little bit sticky because everybody knows club. Everybody knew how to approach it. So a couple of tweaks towards that side, including a little bit more of a rotation and the pulling of the site inside the bar as well to make it bar slash bar means that it's actually got some versatility. It's actually got some use. And here, let's see if it's Vitality that can be the first to sort of fly the flag of it. It's not always the strongest site, but it might be the surprise strike to open this up. Here it starts with some verticality over the side of construction. They've got to see if they can force those players out, but the prep of the jump out and the vout cam means as soon as they try and get on that construction window, you assume somebody's going to suffer. So they're doing it all internally. Yeah, exactly. You want to make sure that they have the information there. And as was the actual uh, breach denial from BB up on that top floor that came in, there is suddenly going to be the construction wall that remains closed. Nello, however, opening up the stage wall with that exothermic still gives them a direct entry to the site. The big issue here, however, is the three men up on that top floor of Vitality will be trying to slow down any push that Eminem tries to bring. Well, you can see Solotov is trying to play some concern here. Bibu knows that that's sort of a one trick you can do because it's too dangerous to try and trick that yeah. twice. There's the hole over the top of the single wall that can just be shot open and grenaded. And there's also the damage and destruction that might come from the side and the window. You can't really stick around. He did well enough to bait it once, but here, as it gets popped open, it's now a deadly angle. One that he's more than happy to swing onto from the side of the door. There is still some support here, and Bibu suffers a little bit on the camera, uh -huh. but it's the 
camera inside Cash that's getting a great read in the position. And Bibu might try and go for this. Does. Flies his way around the corner. Gets one as a combination push came on the door itself. So it was a trade idea with P4 as a third player to retake, as I said, very important verticality. Now to have that drone still up, 20 seconds, not really any control here for the side of M&M. They need to find more kills before they can attempt the plant. And with two of these players still being up on that top floor and Nello being near the strip area, it's going to be Shinka and P4 who both find one of these M&M players. And Tyrant jumping in from the back of it will be able to find one. Five seconds, however, left on the clock. Nello tries and find himself a way in to go for that plant. Needs to take care of the Yokai successfully does so. However, it will be P4 and Shinka that both pick up a kill each and allow themselves to pick up the round as a result. Good start there from Vitality on a little bit of an offsite for a lot of teams here as they made sure that they had just enough security. It was the retake. That was such an important part and a bit of a play that we've missed from Vitality today. Hi, Vitality's defense. <laughs> it's nice to see you in those plays that we know that you like to do on the days where you're generally the hottest. It's an aggressive performance. It's that play back in. And it's also apparently the way Kavano were able to dispatch Eminem earlier on in the day was they kept on playing a little bit of aggression, a yep. little bit of a pushback against Eminem and stopped them being able to get set up, which led to Kavano being able to get the 2-0 here. If it's a textbook, that Vitality are able to read from and pull some lessons, it might start to spell a little bit of an upswing for the French. It could definitely do so indeed. They, they want to make sure that they at least lock off this half with a 4-2. Let's just put it up like that. That would be a very decent half. Of course, it could be a little bit more attack side considering that there is the Thatcher on the board and of course the Heart Breach as well, just the, just the, uh, the Maverick that has been removed. Lack of a, uh, a Kade as well, just making it easier to attack that bottom floor. So, overall, wouldn't be surprised if a 3 3 is eventually what strikes us, or maybe even a 4 2 advantage for the side of Eminem or 40 Attack, who would say. Uh, but Vitality with that knows as well that every single round they get onto the defense right now is going to be important. Let's just put it up like that. Eminem, a little bit of a slow here, and they're going to see if they can get the full check on the players of Vitality. There's a bit of a spread, and P4's on a bit of an adventure, but generally see this site falling into the situation of are they going to be locked down. With Rise, that extension all the way to the top, are Eminem going to pay it all the focus that might be played? It means they don't have the immediate access towards the kitchen or the kitchen hatch without handing over a portion of utility, so it seems like the focus from Nello is here across the top. They're going to see if they can push the pressure out from the top floor or make their way down, which is fair when the Rome's on the game. you got a game into the Rome. 1-2-0, currently Vitality in that lead. Eminem looking to bring that back, but they need to go all the way to that basement floor, basement side. There's currently a quite heavy Rome going around from the set of Vitality. We see P4 in that bathroom. We see a couple of players down up onto that top floor as well. The site itself is relatively easy to take at this point. I think there's just a player inside of dirt, and that might just be it. But Eminem not really realizing that at this point. They need to clear. They need to fight through these players on the side of Vitality that has set themselves up so aggressively. And as we speak, actually, a lot of them have rotated back towards the side. So a lot of time has been wasted for them. And as the C4 is being pre-placed, there is B4 that will be watching the camera. And as soon as one step is being put right inside that kitchen, that will be a guaranteed kill for the side of Vitality. They're aware of it, though. Solotov's going to see if he can make a bit of pressure here on the door itself. He's going to open up towards the corridor and get that double prepped for Emoto push. With that open and the Aruni gate means they've got to burn it, but they have more than enough utility in pockets at this point, you assume. Yep, three flashes in the side of Neo as a way to break through that. And if all else fails, still have X Kairos and the Hard Destruct. Hey, remember when we said this is a Hard Destruct map? Yeah. It still is and always will be, and you need that double up to ensure you have the full security on your approach. 45 seconds on the clock, users picks up the very first as Bibu that drops a three try to contest one of these vertical angles. They still need to open up the kitchen hatch, however, if they want to go for a push around this area. A lot is being opened up just to clear out these angles as Neo is starting to use the x here. Use those double pellets to stop any potential tricking to come through, but as a lot of time is being wasted, it's going to be the second set to come down. will explode roughly with 16 seconds left. Now you got to be like Eminem, get your skates on 15 seconds and Nello with the drop right into smoke but pushes his way down 
towards the back of the center case. There is a call and a swing, but they don't quite have the intel. They think he's in default, but one slight movement, and we're now in a post plant. Cactus with the swing, too little, too late, just rise. Suddenly the only player left digs his way in via the church, might be able to get the pick up and can, as Shinka goes round, a very important part, but Look at what Eminem has, it's a verticality, it's the picked up player, doesn't stay standing too long out of bullets, not too much in a nerfed gun, they find and rise, pips and pops his way round, gets the drop onto one, but the vertical is watched, and Eminem get a response. A very clean, well not really clean route for them, but a very good execute. The Excarius popped off and Nello knew exactly what he had to do. Not being afraid of the smoke canister at that point, something we see quite often. When a smoke canister is there, a lot of these players are like, I cannot move through this at all, I'll take damage. But as you saw that from Nello, he quickly went through it, only took about 10, 20 damage, managed to get the plan down and they had no idea. And as the defenders as well, of course, thinking it would be safe with the smoke canisters being used. And that leaves you up to a surprise when a lot of vertical angles are still being held with 10 seconds to, you know, left in that round and the diffuser apparently being planted without your knowledge. You've got to give credit to Nella there as well because you have to look at all of the options he had to plant. If he was in default, he was dead. The smoke yeah. canister had the cover of that. And I think if he'd have gone to the far corner, which for a lot of players and teams is the second plant spot, uh -huh. he would have been dead as well because they did not have pipes control, truly. They had some openings there and they keep a bit of a watch. But all it takes is to swing around and a drop diffuser and that's a round loss and that's a trade situation, which is what we saw happen actually at the end of that. Exactly, you want to get as much cover or keep as much cover as you can and thus he decided to plant to the end of the rack. It was limited visibility there also. They had no idea that Nella dropped at that moment in time so they just tossed in the smoke canisters as the timing was slowly running down to zero. And with that M&M, they equalized the score early on still in this match. Round two only just ended. Round three will be starting off soon. And Vitality, they know as well that the attack should be having quite a good time here today with opening up the walls and opening up every single thing they want, considering there is a Thatcher on the board and no Cade to stop it. And as a result, the attack should probably be able to pick up three, maybe even four rounds over the course of a half. There's the read on some intel there, and Sotov just going to keep steady on with the work they need to do on the top here. Trying to find your way into Jim, that's a start. Zolotov, again, who was such a big player for them in the first map, is able to keep that and knocks Rise back. Gives them that early opener here, one of the earliest that we've seen on clubs so far on the first two rounds. It's yep. generally quite slow and heavy, and Rise wanted to step into that. Unfortunately, they were well prepared and prepared. Shinka, in the meantime, is the next up, takes the drone out, has obviously the bulletproof, which now is going to be perfectly watched by Rise. Can swing and get a little bit width on the angle. How long can they stay here with Bebo on the cover? Uh, having that shield, of course, to provide some support, whereas, of course, the angle as well that has been created by the x is not too big, so nothing really to worry about as of yet. They can hold on here for quite a while, you would dare to say. And it will really depend on whether another player will be coming up from the bottom of these Bob red stairs as P4 attacker. is looking to provide some support here in the garage storage area or New down. Blue or many of the going other calls that have been given it in the course of the new club's lifetime. The Solotov that managed to sneak in and now will be looking to find himself in a close angle but has grenades left available to him if he sneaks it over. The verticality, he might just as well be able to pick up a kill right here as Tyrant's going to be able to pick up a kill on V4 who just detonated the C4 before he got picked up and that leaves us in that 2 on 4 situation. I mean one step earlier and that could have been a save there but it doesn't really matter. There's Bibu giving a bit of the game away as to where he is, moves and tries to manipulate to the next and almost finds it does. Potentially in fact, I'm not sure if that was the old trade that was up in the top right. Either way, there was a player ready to take the fight and the fire there and that puts them in the situation of two in a row. They've done, I guess, for a standard club, a standard approach in their attacks here. I think having the Thatcher means a 3-3 is probably more likely. Exactly. Statistically. So there's still a bit of work left to do. It's still early doors, early game. It definitely is. And the Arcs is being brought back out as the Gem and Bedroom are coming up next here for Vitality. They're opting to not go for the Bar Bar site again. Still quite a strange thing to say. It's, it's bar <laughs> bar, it's the same room, but with two bombs in it. Um, 
No, instead they're going to the gym bedroom. It's directly above Bar Bar and will be to some extent be a very similar hole. As in top floor soft being used and extended on earlier is again going to be used to a more extreme event now. Crossmats coming out as well. Shinka to stop any potential jump in from either of these windows to be successful. And that forces a player, an attacker, that if they don't clear it out, I mean, it's easily cleared out with just an upside down repel, uh, to either go for a gunfight or to clear out the frost welcome mats. And that often does land some kills in the favor of the defense. Now, the Valkams, they have generally been quite uncontested. I think yeah. it's fair to say their positions and the way that they've been able to pull information has been really good, but they haven't quite been able to find the punishment, I think, that could be netted from how much intel's being given to them. There's still those flirts with the danger. The play that I said earlier, Kavana were able to play really, really well against Eminem, is those moments of Bibu there at the end, having a strike on the side, the uh -huh. pushback on the round that they were able to win, you sort of want a little bit more of that from Vitality right now. You want to see more out of Vitality here. You want to see them push it all the way to a map number three and fight for their survival in the tournament. However, Eminem, after a very quick 2-0 loss from Kavana, are of course going to be very motivated as well to ensure themselves a shot at tomorrow's grand final where they will be taking on Bomb uh, Team Secret. By and after that, potentially Kavana if they win it. Jump out. You know you want to. You know you want to try and fight this user's thinking, but no. Vitaly, they're not going to play against the fact they saw the camera go down. They suddenly have this blind, and that's so risky. It's just as risky as approaching it when they have that sort of intel. And it's a coin flip you don't really want to make this early in the game. I know I said I want that build from aggressive play, but I want it to be backed by the great cams and intel they've been able to play so far. If that starts getting caught, if anything, that's going to make things even more dangerous for Vitality. They pull back, they hand over this region. They're not going to see if they can stick it last time as they did before, and instead think that they can structure themselves to be a five-on-five -five fight around the site as it sort of used to be now. It's a bit of a remodeling going around. Positions are being exchanged by the players of Vitality, whereas people are really still on that bottom floor have any opportunity, of course, to sail. Oh, no, no, not even able to sail a C4 through. Is it's either pre placed or already detonated before? Quickly trying to check the overlay. Oh, there is currently one in place, so definitely seems that it has been pre placed. Not quite sure where it will be, of course, with Eminem now truly pushing through the construction side of things. Grenades are coming in as well and could take care of potential PC utility, but you have to be careful. I believe that there might be a frost mat right underneath this little rotation right there, and a Solotov does jump in. No, it's actually underneath the hatch, so never mind that. I thought it could have been there, oh, but he's going to be opening up the rotation even more so. Solitaire tries to knock their way through, but in the meantime, Mute has found that opener and put the pressure onto Cactus. The Mute is gone. He's actually still standing. Rise is going to hold off on the lockdown. Solitaire. Spray through logistics. He's seen the frost mat there, but he might actually walk in it if he's not being too careful here. He's swinging around the corner, but the Nitro Cell will actually pick up Nello right here, and he stays alive and managed to pick up the kill. I thought it would have been safe after the C4 popped and got a kill, but it is not true. Neo still with that diffuser alive. is looking to go for a position to plant. Ashinka is holding right next to the bathroom, but he's forced to jump in here, and the cover is out there as well. It's going to be Eminem that wins the round in the end here as to get those final two kills. And where I was afraid Solotov would be walking into the frost mat there, it was quite close to it, it never really took it out. It was him in the right position to pick up the kill after the Nitro exploded and gave Vitality a fake or false sense of security for that room. Eminem, I said you sort of needed three, but you look like you're charging your way for more. It's been such a good read. And it doesn't seem like... Those puzzles that Vitality had earlier on their defenses have been put together properly. They're still trying to work out exactly how to slow down a team that just repeatedly pulls the intel on where they are and Defense then punishes them for it. Well, puzzles are meant to be solved. They are. <laughs> Otherwise, they're not very good puzzles. But you want it to be solved you, you want it to you be find hard. yourself knocked out the lower bracket. That, that, is, that is definitely true. You, you, like, in this case, these puzzles need to be made in a way that it cannot be solved. And... Well, so far, Eminem, they seem to be very good at solving the unsolvable puzzles. We are heading back to the uh, bottom floor, though, and this side did give me some worries if they had to replay it. 
uh, because it wasn't a very clear cut victory, we have to say. It took till 16 seconds before they opened up the hatch they wanted to execute from. And it took Nello jumping through a lot of smoke ex with uh, Vitality expecting he wouldn't to go down for that plant. Those are two things that, first of all, the hatches need to open up quicker, but second of all, you cannot expect them to just jump through the smoke again and Vitality this time again not having a clue about it. It's one of the main things I can sort of point to on this is the late plants oh, that no. have come through from Eminem. Oh, almost rewarded. And that is somebody who is lucky. He's not stuck. But stuck, as you said. He saw that that door was open. He doesn't know it's entirely watched, but you would assume that it is. Oh, what a shot. Solid. What a performance he has been able to have for this roster. Keeps them driving, keeps Eminem getting closer and closer, and P4 not quite being able to dig into this prank game. We say he could be this loose player that moves and manipulates a map, but here all that's happening is he's being caught time and time again. And that's it, right? If you manage to neutralize P4, suddenly Vitality doesn't have that big flanking game anymore. That big player that can strike from the side time and time again and mess up your whole execute. Now, there is a small worry. P4 has been picked up. There is still a big roam. Rise and Bibu, of course, playing around the CCTV cash area. And there's drones currently going around the building. If they do realize that currently Shinka is only now returning to the site, we could see a full 5v2 execute coming down from, for example, the main stairs. Solitov over the top. As Eminem starts to drone their way out towards the site itself. And my point before he started to break it was the game that Eminem's done really well is one that Vitality's aware of. Get that diffuser in at all costs. And that's got them two of these rounds. We saw it on the gym just before. We saw it on their first round win down on this site before. Grenade being used from below to try and force Rise out as they know two are still up on that top four utility. Really being used right here. Tide angles being watched as well, forcing Rise to fall back. They're trying to get him back towards the side where they have another opportunity, another cross angle to try and pick him up from. That's why he's about to be jumping over. There's actually a player inside the oil pit already. So even that place is not safe for him to fall back through. And that's exactly what he's going to be trying to attempt here. He's slowly ascending down these garage stairs and users will be watching that staircase here as a contest is actually coming in from the baby steps. Rise feels very stuck in this case if he gets hunted down by Nello. Yeah, stuck until Nello decides he isn't anymore. Bibu's able to play against the hatch that was the break in the breach of the team before Eminem. They're putting a lot more faith and face inside blue this time around. Solotov's crept his way down, pops open the Banshee and waits for the approach of anyone either side. The canisters start to pop, it cost them last time, but this is a little bit more of a locked door if they can't quite get their approach round. Shinka's holding the close angle, but look at the drop on Moto on the far side. They found their feet inside. Bibu gets an important opener. Shinka wants to swing and gets the lockdown of three versus three. Cactus is the door, but Tyrant has one more. Suddenly they're gonna see if Where they can they? scream themselves onto a site. It's the corridor and it's just Nello popped in close round on the corner. Neo offering everything, can't get the first slip. It is finally. Vitality finding a stop to that last Hail Mary plant. I was going to say, where's the diffuser going down at that point? Because they removed themselves out of uh, the motorcycle area, trying to go to a different position. As Rios is being called currently, just due to some issues, right, rightfully so, at, <laughs> at this case, if you're looking at it. So that does mean we're heading back towards us for just a slight moment as a quick rehost will be put into place. Now, a two on three, Eminem, they have those three rounds. He is going to be able to pull something up their sleeves here. Out of their sleeves, see if they uh, are going to be able to pick up that even Defenders split, that 3-3. Three, three. And truly put themselves in a good position for that second half where they fight for survival, mind you, because the loser of this game, not this map, this game, is going to be eliminated from the close qualifiers. 3-2 now, and it's the chance for a bit of a break here with the potential of... I guess seeing if Vitality can set themselves even and level pegging, can they be that light that sort of breaks through the CL team and the team that they need to try and apply themselves to and break through what has been, I'm going to say it, not their best day. A little bit disappointing on the side of things. Uh, definitely. 
I think both these teams are a little bit disappointed with how it went. Vitality would have loved to clear it out with a 2-1. Eminem surely wasn't planning on losing 2-0 on their very first matchup uh, themselves against Kavana as well. This Cactus, I'm telling you about it. He is trying to hide into the strip club right now for the bar stage hold. Of course, could be hunted down first if someone manages to sneak themselves into that strip club. And Cactus seems to be unaware of it. Definitely seems like there is some pressure, but more so from that top floor rather than directly horizontally. So here over the top, Solotov is going to be the driving force. And, well, can they get the catch onto the logistics side? The grenade bounced around. It's going to get of that Banshee, and they're just still going to hold on. They're waiting, waiting for the approach and the swing of the play around on the back. And as I said before, it's an important bit of current no man's land that as soon as you approach in, you're generally going to suffer fire from both sides. Are uh, Vitality going to be able to put their mark back on it once again? Or is this change of pace? Is Eminem actually pick up and head over to the gym side going to be the bigger drive? There it is. Solotov was pinged and baited the whole time, but still won the firefighter's tyrant. Suddenly finds Bibu on the split as well. A very important fight. And there's that Intel game I said was so good, but punished so bad. P4 takes the fight inside, waits for the approach on the second. It's going to see if they can do everything they can to hold on to what is very vital territory. Uh, for sure, still a little bit slow on the other side of things. However, they managed to just get that double entry, but before able to strike back, punish one of those players as he now drops down through that hatch. Just looking at it quickly, no C4s left available to them to use, and only that means that one of them has been already gone and used. That means by, by, uh, by B4, and BB might have had one in hand still. Either way, B4 on that big flank, looking to retake CCTV and cash. As Neo and Solotov right now find themselves right above the side. They're starting to open up. They're starting to try and isolate some of these angles. And as the Valkyrie cameras are currently not providing any information on any of the current players, just where they aren't at currently, it is before that is trying to figure out how he can use this flank the best. A slow approach and creep over the top here as it's sort of a bit of a waiting game. And if I said it was no man's land before, slowly more and more of that is traversing its way down underneath. Two drones passed in the day of a bar and they're well aware of each other's presence, but it's such a big amount of pressure to try and get yourself in. Takes care of the Banshee, flashes themselves further and further forward, and Nello is now dug in on the corner with the Echo Drone. Well, they catch one, they catch a lot of players. Cactus, he loses his second as well. Inside Strip gets the first fight, finds almost the second, but it's a post plant. And it's tougher and tougher. A pre-fire comes around there, well aware of where he is, and a trade locks it off as a 4-2 half for Eminem. Oh, they'll be more than happy with a trade there on the side of Eminem as they get the half to go their way. That 4-2 is going to be so important because I said it before, a 3-3 would be a decent split with that Thatcher. You uh, double down on that as well. And now it's going to be up to Vitality to show they can do better than Eminem just did. Don't think they want to risk going to overtime here. They need to lock it off as soon as possible. But Eminem, they'll be trying to do the exact same thing here. They as well know that they're currently in a better position than Vitality currently is. They have that one map advantage. They have the two rounds currently. And now find themselves into the defense. And they're not going to be putting up that much value onto the walls, it seems like. You, you don't see a Bendit coming out. You see a Mute instead. Just to stop these drones from happening, they know the walls will be opened up. They know the hatches will be opened up. All they can do is just lock down that one important part you do want to keep control of. Okay, Eminem, what can you do to stop what I suppose a lot of people, unless you're Eminem fans, are hoping is a reinvigorated vitality? They have obviously come into this now with the pressure that they can apply on their attacks. Attack have a better hand than usual with that just still being on the board. It puts a slightly different spin on the game. And sure, they don't have Twitch, but they have the Thatcher to put Shinder onto instead. They can see if they can piece together a slightly different approach or even on P4. Sorry, to generally taking the mantle of a gun that does a hell of a kick. Tyrant is setting themselves up with a similar cams to try and apply some pressure here on a slow approach. And with a single roam all the way on the top, no. They're actually dropping themselves steadier and steadier closer home. Nello is the last to find his way back. 
Not trying to go back towards this side play. The turtle here, it is uh, very often seen as the most effective way to play this side. It's difficult for roamers to head back in, especially if you have that small amount of support due to that side being on that base when you don't want to send too many players up to that top floor, or at least the first. You try and challenge it like this. You try and waste time as you go. Of course, with the lack of a Cade and the Fetcher being available, these hatches will be opened up. It's going to be a little bit tougher to waste that time. And that is why Solosov is currently aggressive here on the main stairs. Has the opportunity to either swing the bar or to swing the kitchen hallway and potentially pick up a kill as a result. But as he knows, one is heading towards the billiards. Not quite sure, probably a camera. He falls back to a secondary position on the main stairs. Steady droning all the way through, and they've been quite quick to react to the fact that they can get a lot of this map quite quickly. And I suppose that's always the sort of question that gets posed is how do they read into these holes? Solotov just slips away, a couple of bullets of the chaser, but he's not interested in anything that's being served by the bar. Instead, gets his way back in, closer and closer towards the site itself. Nello, currently uncontested inside dirt as the main hatch gets popped open, but look how much time there is for Vitality. There's a minute and 15 seconds left on the clock, and right now Vitality is just trying to figure out where they want to push from. The drones are coming through to find out where these players are on m, &M and that is when the final call will be made. Either we go motor, either we go blue, or either we drop for the armory. And as the ADSs are being wasted, it gives away a small ID to m, &M that there is some pressure really emerging from the side of blue, and some smoke canisters are being popped as well, whereas the majority of the force is actually coming down from the main stairs and the motor side drop, and they try and now respond to that as well. Huge pressure is about to explode. Cactus gets the first. It's Neo with an important fight. Finds one, finds a slip away. But there's pressure coming from the opposite side, so he gets a full escape. Tyrant's doing everything they can do to hold on to the main door and the double axes. He's uses. He's inside sight behind the church wall. Got flashed, but might have a moment. Tyrant strikes back, finds that far side, and it's all locked off. 20 seconds. Vitality have made it work before, but they've got to try and hit the bricks right now to see if they can piece together some structure of an attempt on a site rise. He's knocking on the door, but he has no cover, no assurity, and no blood left in the body. Neo on the backside with a cold diffuser. A one versus one, a quad for Cat. Cactus needs one more for the ace, but he does not find it. Uses locks it off from behind the chassis. And a 5-2 is where we sit. Had the right ID, knew he was in the room, expected him to be right behind the bar as that would be the obvious position to play with a little amount of time left. But Eminem are going to be able to win that fifth round, their first one straight onto the defense. And as they didn't really focus on keeping these walls closed, they truly focused on letting Vitality come to them, set up these crossfires, make sure you hit them before they hit you and successfully at that as well. CCTV cash will be up next and currently there is no denial. They just will give the wall away to the side of Vitality, basically rendering the gadget of the Thatcher useless. You could have used it for a different area, you could have used it for, for a different kind of gadget, but now there will be those three MPs that mainly will be used to open up walls, but basically are not necessary to do so. Okay, hey, Eminem, you've been able to get your first, and I said it before, the 4-2 on the turn of the previous half was one that then led in two, three rounds in a row. Vitality desperately need to pull some over this back into their favor. They've been quite successful at those lace plants, and to be honest, coming down to a one versus one is intense, but you've always got to take in the fact that it yep. was off of an almost an ace. It was a 4K from the French player that drove it home, and that can never be a reliance or a dependency. You really don't want it to come down to just that. It is better to have every single player pick up a singular kill in a round, like we see on the side of Eminem after the rehost here. Two, two, All two, two, two. And when you're looking over at Vitality, Basically, all the kills, they lie with Cactus. Two players have kills? Exactly. P4, just one. Cactus with six, I believe that is. And, you know, I mean, it's great when a player pops off like that, but it, it does mean that it, there's a lot of responsibility on just his shoulders in that case. Well, the even hand of Eminem is keeping the French at a little bit of a bay, but it's not over yet. It's still Vitality trying to pull this together here. They're waiting for the pop of the swing. They're going to go for what is a standard take, and CCTV fell out of a bit of favor 
over the recent years because of just how predictable it was to get cracked open regardless of the bands. It's probably made even easier today. That means things get a little bit awkward. They have Neo on the flip there. He's going to see if he can steady his way towards lounge via the bar. Uses is also prepped for a jump out, waiting for just a fall. Just a moment, just a fraction. Not quite worth it yet, though. There's still that extra player out there for cover that just opened up the stock door. And his rise is playing around that position. Muse is not really in the right position to go for the jump out, especially with the flashbangs that are being tossed in. He's receiving some of that pressure now as Neo realizes that there is some pressure coming down on him as well. If he manages to lock out this first kill, suddenly there is a lot more freedom here for users to go for a jump out and potentially pick up a double kill. Looking at the current droning that's going on. There you have it, that's the kill. This might actually allow him to go for the jump out now as users knows there's one less man on that side of the building. Gets droned, however, so we'll be playing patiently. We'll be using his cards with him, close to him, as P4 gets neutralized as well. Tyrant has been that drive, as I said before, and he's going to keep saying it. Solotov, though, is a name that pops up, to be honest, a little bit more. Shinka's going to see if he can spray some Hail Mary Fire back into blue, but they've actually pulled a little bit further away. Uses, as he said, he was in a prime position to do a jump out, but this is Eminem. It's a controlled bout of aggression. They know when they need to put the pressure on. They know that all the other pieces are working, and they're more than happy to trust the many other cogs in the machine to come to the result that comes through. Three deaths, all from separate Eminem players at this point. That's exactly what we highlighted at the beginning of the round. They are more than happy to lean and rest on each other when they know that they need to try and put the pressure on opposite sides. Finally, that race and deadlock is broken as Neo finds his second for the round. The first player to break and buck that trend, but caught in between three more. Flawless on the boards, one round away from securing themselves in at least another lower bracket yeah. fight. But Vitality, one round away for the SI Dream to Game end. Over. Vitality, indeed, need to fight back four rounds in a row now. They cannot afford a singular slip up again. And you know, where they were really quick in opening up the walls, they open up towards the window on the garage. They open up the CCTV wall as well to make sure that they had the opportunity to put down the pressure it was just the gunfights on separate occasions that really didn't go their way in the end there and allowed Eminem to pick up these kills one by one. And that brings them to a 2-6 currently and where we expected Vitality to maybe do a little bit better after they went over to the attack themselves. It is Cactus that put in a great effort. Six kills in total. But Eminem, just that consistency all across the board, really coming in strong here. One more round, and to be fair, we sort of had the story a little bit earlier, though it was in the upper bracket version, and Secret yeah. almost pulled it back. They almost found that little bit of energy just when they needed it, but it was a story of too little too late. Is this going to be the same? Or are Eminem not even going to add any more pages to this? They're more than happy to lock it out, and they've done a heck of a show to get here. It just takes a repetition of the first map to ensure an entirely opposite story to their first match of the day. That's it, right. Is Eminem going to be able to lock it off with a 7-2 or 7-3 here as Vitality looking to bring this back to overtime? Of course, they want to try. The question is, will they succeed in doing so? They surely will give it their all, but as they are currently in the front, it doesn't seem to be helping them as much as it did over the European League over 2021, where they managed to qualify once for a major and well, just missed out on the other as they went home just a slight bit too early. Vitality now on the brink of defeat, on the brink of elimination, is afraid of a potential punch hole coming in from the dirt tunnel. But I don't think anybody of the MM players is currently in that position. You said it yourselves, they are controlled aggression. If they don't need to take the risk, they will definitely not do it. Because what we saw with Vitality, they had that two man advantage, one jumps out, loses the gunfight, suddenly it's a four on three, and suddenly it all goes wrong. Well, here's a bit of a change of pace. There's a frost mat. No, it was just caught out from underneath. I assume the grenade hit it and attempt to push the player out of the position. They've dug themselves through all the way onto the site. They've found a kill, but Cactus is going to see if he can stick it on the far side. They probably haven't heard this with all the aggression, and there's suddenly another exchange that goes away. Three on a three. But a post plant, the first time we've seen it work in their favor. Bibu has the lockdown and the rotation round on the opposite side. Couldn't quite get a connection underneath. There's one under and one on the opposite side. There's the ping on the chassis. There's a pre-fire. They know you're there. It's going to make it even trickier when you're that injured. The C4 gets a connection. Rocks Cactus. 
but it's still a very awkward approach here on that player inside the shower. It's an awkward little fight with a little gun, and Bibu means it's just a two versus one. Not for very long. Vitality. They finally find a round after a while. They break their curse of not getting anything in the second half, but there's still three more to go. Still three more to go indeed, but they're starting to bring that pace, something we have seen before earlier today. They like to go for their quick rounds. They like to go for their rushes, and they have been quite successful as well. The big issue with them, however, is, is that you cannot consistently rely on them at some point. Your opponent will be well aware of it. And, you know, that point is usually after a rush has been successful. Church and Arsenal will be coming up next. Yet once again, Vitality was able to freely take all the hatches the previous time around. And as the Thatcher yet again gets brought out, there is no real reason to do it except for taking out other utility pieces, such as the Banshee in dying seconds of rounds. But okay, for now, we're going to go for the same setup here on Eminem's side. The question here will be, is it Vitality that will go for an alternative attack strategy? Maybe go for dirt, maybe put up some pressure there while dropping the kitchen hatch, rather than all just pushing down the main staircase. It was good, it was a great lead. -in. And it's just seeing again what they can build behind it at this point. There's the prep over the top here as they're going to set themselves up for another church hold. And church was a time where it came down to a one versus one. Exactly. As I said before, it was almost an ace. There's got to be a little bit of a difference to make here. And to be fair, you know, rushes, they generally only work once. But it's the call of awareness that becomes the big bout. Oh, oh couldn't quite get that outside the way they wanted it to. The second swing is the one that gets it in the right place. But is it something that will get caught out now? That's a big question. I don't think anybody actually saw it or was in a position to sh take out that Valkyrie camera. The last one is now being deployed as well. The information game on Eminem is again going to be present. Now, the question here will be, are they going to be able to use these nitro cells to get rid of these players before they start the eventual push? That is what they need to do. They have given away the hatches. There's nothing there to stop it. Of course, there's not as the Cade has been taken care of, but that does force you to slow them down in separate ways. No roamers, however, that forces you to take this fight to them before they get towards the horizontal fights themselves. P4 is just going to hold that. Going to wait for somebody to maybe drift into the spot. I love and hate that angle. I remember we saw it it's, for the first time not too like, long wow, ago. It's like, wow, amazing. And then a lot of teams are replicating exactly. it. It's all the way from the top of the corner of gym to the stairs that lead down to the site itself. It is horrendous. But very effective in the right hands, as both teams have demonstrated. They'll keep a watch on it. And everybody's aware of it, but still, it's sort of this safe way to keep that Impact. sort of locked down. They have... Nope. No. Time has two to respond. They're going to let the first two pop. They've actually pulled themselves away from it. So he might have been actually uh, saving these impacts here. So if they want to go for the triple wall take, he's going to use them for those instead. As uh, there is, of course, too many x left. Like, there's no way you're going to be able to stop every single one of them if he's only trying. If, if the only job of the Hibana is to open up that hatch, you're not going to be stopping it, right? There, there's no way you have enough impacts in your team to stop that from happening. So maybe these impacts will be used later in the round if they want to open triple wall again like they've done before. I mean, we saw the holes being opened up right uh, above the reinforcements as well at the start of the round, which would indicate a potential impact trick. And awareness of oil is going to be the next play in place. And if we remember, that was where one of the M&M players was actually able to slip and slink away. They found themselves a semblance of safety. So instead of going for everybody down blue stairs this time, they might try and diversify that, either one apiece or just give them that third man, that extra player in place. Seconds we pass the mark, and Neo's going to see if he can retake the hold on blue. The first ghoul comes around, and it's a fight that goes into their favor. No! Suddenly it's all blue across the board. Blinked and you missed it. Vitality sure didn't. And they found themselves the second round in a row. Very quick execute yet once more. This time around, everything was synchronized. It's something I said before. The, the pushes just seemed off. It seemed like they weren't synchronized properly. And now they were. They all just went together. They all just won these gunfights at the very same time. And as we have an m, &M timeout being called after two rounds in a row, we've been lost in similar fashion. It is them that quickly need to have a small talk with their coach. See what's up. See what can be changed. And see in what way they will be able to win one of these last two rounds. Because over time, again, they want to avoid it. Map three, even more so. It's tricky because 
I know I've sort of cited this before in an earlier game, but this is vitality that we expected to see. This yeah. level of these last two rounds coordination, especially. exactly, exactly. And again, it becomes this conversation: Is it too little, too late? Because Eminem have this brief window to respond to this before it turns into a bigger problem. They are so close to keeping themselves in the lower bracket. There is a huge weight on this game because whoever loses it, mm -hmm. well, they're gone. Their SI dreams are done. It's one of those precious things that can really be technically the full stop to the end of the year, yep. but also in the calendar year, the start of a very impressive year. It, d it definitely is indeed. And is uh, just started to I mean, okay, so it's not the start of the eSports year because no. it's, it's soon to be ending, but if you're looking at the start of the year itself, it it's would definitely be yeah. the best way to start it if you qualify for the Six Invitational. Only uh, a thing that many players, many Siege players can dream of and only a couple of them that have actually managed to achieve that. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defeated by Lift attack. the hammer. Lift the hammer, indeed. Do you know, we were told this by production, uh, the hammer on our set is, is a real, real sledgehammer. Yeah. And they were like... It was quite heavy if I was when I was uh, looking at the, the production guy lifting it. You know. Yeah, because they lifted it. They did a great video. Yeah. Um, um, so I didn't touch it yet. I don't think... I, I, I won't don't think you do should. it either. No, I, I, was, I wasn't going to. I'm, I'm, no. <laughs> Broke my ribs before already when yeah, I, don't I took trust a bath. Sledgehammer. So now taking a, a full-size sledgehammer, I, I don't think I should. I think the list of siege talent I trust with a sledgehammer is very slim. Okay, I was going to say very big, but no, you're not on it. No, no, no. Because who would you trust with a sledgehammer? I would trust Zeronic with a sledgehammer. Okay. I would trust... Blue. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Blue? All right. I would trust Blue with a sledgehammer. Okay. Um... Who would you trust the least with a sledgehammer? Huh? Who would, who would you trust the least? Like, who shouldn't be even close to the sledgehammer? Oh, everyone else. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> else. Across any of them. Oh, Ollie, exile tracker. I think I could just have a sledgehammer. I think that would be a terrifying sight. It would It would be, be a very like small hammer in his hand style. Enough about that, though. We've got through a minute and. To be honest, there hasn't really been a massive connection between the two teams at this point. Vitality, as we said, they're not going to be able to pull the same tricks before. The timeout is going to be one that works into the favor, but they're aware of this. Look at the slightly different approach that they've gone for instead this time. They're not going to try and lose and fight all of the bodies inside Garage. No, no. They've picked themselves up, headed over for a logistics take. You've still got to do the work on CC Wall. You've yeah. still got to try and get some of this pressure onto what is a big point to hold. The Cactus is alone for now. So he's, I'll be even. So he's just going to sort of wait out for the rest of the players to put the pressure on as Habana is actually on the Cactus. Uh, cactus is on the Habana roll. <laughs> he's just got that swapped around yeah. a little bit. Habana on the Cactus roll as the eSports player is going to see if they can make the connection on the other side. There was a drone there, but I'm not quite sure if they knew there was a player there. Solotov, of course, just falling down the stairs now, hoping to be hunted, but not truly is. The opening will be coming here inside of the construction. Cactus will be creating that here with a small line of sight right next to it. I'm sure he will be accompanied with the opening onto the CCTV balcony. Grenade is being cut. No, no, actually it was a drone that was just coming out there. P4 now trying to challenge the angle. This is exactly what Vitality needs to do, though. Just open angles and start challenging instead of throwing your bodies at it. And the flashbangs being tossed in will flush out the Maestro player that is playing on the close angle there. But as Bibu gets picked up, that is quite unfortunate because that is your balcony control suddenly gone. They're going to see if they can try and drive through red. They get themselves close and all the way in. Cactus is able to get himself with the diffuser, with the case and the kit, not too far away. They're hopped up and offering all the support they can. And under the cover and the cacophony of noise, they're going to pull off this plant. P4 has it locked, but there's a very quick trade out. And suddenly, Cactus with the most important play makes it even more important. But Yuzus, he bites back and they've got to try and swing in. Shinka is all that's left on the wrong side of a smoke canister. Finds the first. A oh, slow he went off, move he went through off. the spray. Couldn't quite get the connection. It's there, Shinka! Keeps Vitality in it, and a round built by the backs of two of their players means they are only one round away from OT. All right, there we go. Users did not have to go off the diffuser there. He could have just locked it off as soon as he walked over it, but instead knew that he, well, potentially had to go for a fight there, and thus went off, went for the fight, and lost it, unfortunately, there. In 5-6, a singular round is currently what keeps Vitality away from a potential overtime. And a singular round is what 
could potential take this dream away from Eminem. Or at least a continuation of the dream. Eminem, they don't want to go to OT. They don't want to go to a map number three. They've given it their all so far. And if Vitality is only now starting to warm up, you said it with Secret. Was it too little too late? Vitality, they're starting to come alive right now. If they manage to bring this to a map number three, it will not have been too late. Well, Cactus. I mean, maybe Habana does want to play the Cactus Operator if he's able to pull <laughs> off moves like that. Drove himself in, got the kit planted, and had the double kill to put the body balance back into their favor. And then, obviously, the right time, the right idea from Shinka. All he could really do was spray and kind of hope that things lined up, and they did this time round. One round, Eminem, one round. is what separates you from staying in this, but Vitality... One round suddenly makes this a super interesting series if you can turn it back. It definitely will indeed. If they manage to turn it back now after that very convincing first map loss and looking to find a second convincing loss but managed to turn it around, it's going to be quite impressive. Solotov here with a bit of a spawn peak is quite interesting. He needs to make sure or they want to make sure that they have a small advantage over the rest of Vitality for the remainder of this round, but it seems that no one is currently biting into the bait of it. And Eminem, of course, this time around will be bringing a bandit. They are now worried about a potential harp breach to come through, something that we haven't seen them worry about at all. And P4 already being this close. Look at that. He already has construction on the control. Knows as well that as soon as they go for a bandit trick, he could be just swinging in. So there needs to be support from the rest of the Eminem players. And two of them are currently offside. So there is this little danger where they could just fully commit to the site here. This cam is getting a huge read on the intel and information of the players. And look at Solotov. He really wants to go for the fight here, but he has to time it perfectly. Oh. And as one is caught on one side, Solotov is caught on the other. The drone is going to have more of a read here. It's the swing round on the fight. He's ready and waiting and willing for this. It's just a very important engagement. No biggie here. Solotov's dug in, stuck on the corner. Look at Shinka here over the top. They have the drone slowly rolling its way around. He's caught. Surely he's locked. And it is Cactus. He is still a driving force. A player who isn't always the main one swinging for vitality has made sure he is hitting for the bleachers when it matters the most. They still have a hold on the rest of the split. Bibu hasn't been caught as he was last time before. He is isolated on the far side and forced a little bit more of a well, asynchronous push as it came through heavy and metal inside the site. Nello's underneath, locked in. M870, which isn't always the most common. The engagements that might come out it's over here. Plant. It is to stop the plans. If they manage to dig themselves in deep again, he gets into a position where he can just start opening up the floor and create an angle to potentially shut down Cactus if he wants to go for a plant like that. And however, there is a man down. Eminem, they are a man down. This is the perfect opportunity for Vitality to try and find themselves in a position where they can bring this to overtime. Tyrant now receiving some pressure as well from BB on the other side of the garage as they're starting to enter the side. It's an injury to come through. It's a three on three. Make that a two and two or both sides have one down. It's now to come around the corner with the pistol in will be able to pick up the kill. The diffuser has been dropped. It's only up to Shinkan 1 HP right now. He is outside. He is on the balcony. He needs to clutch this out if they want to stay into the game. He has the opportunity to pick P4 up and definitely will do so as well. But with the fact that the diffuser is currently down and the sound that will be made by the pickup there, it's users that goes aggressive. Swings around the corner on the left. Picks up the headshot. Needs to find only one more. We still have the shotgun from below. That could be picking up the final kill. Shinka decides to settle for a plan. But as they both come around the corner, here is the first kill that goes their way is the rotation that comes in Nello runs for his life and he will be winning the round Eminem continue to the finals or the lower bracket finals tomorrow well I said Cactus was the one hitting it for the bleachers but Nello's the man who ran all the way home hit that base and hit the security too little too late twice is the story today from tier yeah. one teams we lose only one of them, though. Vitality are the first to be.